सो हेलो माय एल्डर्स एंड सारिम खान बैक विथ माय न्यू टॉपिक एंड टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज इनसाइड अ ब्लैक होल सिंस टुडे वेरी हैप्पीली आई एम लिविंग ओके आई एम स्टेइंग हियर एंड सिंस टुडे आई वाज आल्सो लाइव माय आई हैड अ लाइव वीडियो हियर ओके जस्ट आई एम जस्ट इन क्वेश्चन अगर एंड टुडे हियर आई विल बी डिस्क्राइबिंग टू यू अबाउट व्हाट इज इनसाइड अ ब्लैक होल सो सिंस ब्लैक होल इज वेरी लार्ज कॉन्सेप्ट सिंस जनरली सम साइंटिस्ट बिलीव दैट ब्लैक होल्स में एग्जिस्ट ओके बट सम not earlier it was present such that some people wouldn't believe that black holes may really exist but yeah now it is believed black holes exist but now it is, now it is not means it is not really discovered about what is inside a black hole but some theories are given okay means when we enter about the black hole enter inside the black hole so how is the nature there how is everything around there so today our topic is all about this so first of all question arises what is a black hole So since already I have described to you in my earlier one video that was on Hawking temperature. then in that we saw that black hole or black hole is such a region in a space time from where nothing not even light can escape not even light because gravitational pull of that is so high and why it is so high because it is formed due to the stars okay since we know stars mass is very high later it's when its density of that star gets infinite that stars is collapsing under its own gravitational forces gravity is always attractive then a black hole is formed but now question arises black hole just like can uh, black hole only emits a kind of radiation that is hawking radiation and nothing and no any kind of information it is believed such okay so but even this is also not proved up to now that uh, black holes may really ex okay emit the hawking radiation why okay since we know because no scientist has gone up to black hole okay to detect whether it emits radiation or not and as massive the black hole is okay the lesser the radiation it will emit and if we have a micro black hole then it will uh, emit a large amount of radiation and if scientist discover a very mini black hole means a micro black hole then we can call that of course hawking radiation can be proved and then maybe it was possible that hawking stephen hawking professor stephen hawking would also get a nobel prize for physics but since we know he is not among us now so maybe the possibility is not present that he will be getting the nobel prize for physics because now he is not among us but even in his theory was that black holes emit radiation but he did not get the nobel prize on this great discovery great discovery okay only why because since we know that black is it was not proved experimentally it was not proved experimentally that really black holes emit radiation next we can see that what is inside a black hole since so, so let me tell you that when any imagine any accident happens in a street okay in a space and suddenly any astronaut falls inside a black hole so what will happen first of all and another astronaut is seeing to that astronaut falling inside a black hole so first of all that first astronaut who has fallen into the black hole he will be seeing red, okay that inside this very red kind of light is coming from there that will be the hawking radiation that is believed such it is not proved and i am myself i am telling you the opinions of professor stephen hawking who is an expert in black hole research so first of all he will be seeing red light coming from there and first of all he will, as soon as he will be reaching closer and closer to the black hole so he will be even he will be becoming redder and redder then what we can see that finally after some time even the second astronaut who was seeing to first astronaut will not be able to see the first astronaut because from there the first astronaut will become invisible and he will fall inside a black hole and as that astronaut will be falling inside a black hole so since we know that gravitational force in black hole is very high such high that if this is generally our feet is more forward to the center of the black hole then and it will be lesser to our head then at that moment our Our body, total body will be stretched. Why it will be stretched? Because here over the feet it will be less gra, uh, more gravitational force, and on this it is of lesser. So if we, but imagine we are entering in any super massive black hole, then when will be entering through any super massive black hole? then we can call that there such kind of thing will not happen because their gravity is so high that everywhere will be will be see same kind of gravitational force everywhere but imagine we are going in any miss little mini type black hole then we can see that our body will be stretched now here we can see 
that when will be seeing there so later suddenly astronaut will become invisible and suddenly he will enter inside the core of the black hole and inside that okay inside that area from where nothing not even light can escape nothing can escape even light with a speed of 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second cannot escape and since we know then if light cannot escape so except hawking radiation that is a radiation emitted out okay i'm telling is stephen hawking's opinion to you so if hawking radiation really comes out so except hawking radiation nothing in the universe can escape from a black hole why because light with 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second cannot escape and nothing can travel faster than light so how can any other thing escape from the everything travels very slow to speed of light okay so first of all when he goes inside the core of the black hole so since we know from there okay gravitational force will be so high okay and only okay on his feet it will be so highly applied and on this little less instantly his body all the other forces of the, his body will be filled and instantly his body will be torn into pieces such case may happen but if this happens that no he was saved from there then it may happen that he will come out through the another region of universe he will enter either into another region of universe, another region of space time or into another universe because since we know that okay since everybody believe that there is only one universe Stephen Hawking's opinion is that no there may not exist only one universe there may be many universes okay there may exist many universes such as uh, parallel universe it may exist so this is why Stephen Hawking opinion is this so I am telling his opinion so maybe if that astronaut is saved from that black hole so maybe he will enter into another region of that universe and how because sometimes it is believed because let me tell you that miss any kind of information is never lost information can never be lost because some scientists believe okay that in first uh, generally it is taught to us also such as matter cannot be destroyed or created energy cannot be destroyed or created like this any kind of information cannot be either destroyed or created so this is law, law of conservation of information since we know now here it is believed by some scientists that in when any information enters in the inside the core of the black hole inside the center of the black hole then that information is lost but how if information is lost sometimes what happens that uh, means even black holes fuel is end up later black holes mass as much as, as radiation it emits so what happens that black holes mass starts getting less and suddenly black holes black holes all the black holes will disappear like this it happens any black hole may disappear so when it disappears what happened about the unlucky astronauts who went inside the black hole what happened about the all the kind of light which in, went inside the black hole what happened about them question arises and this kind this paradox is known as information lost paradox why information lost paradox because here the here it is believed that information is lost from there but actually since we know okay other scientists also say that information can never be lost so how inside black hole information is lost but it is really not that information is never lost so it is a kind of paradox that is information lost paradox so here we can see but some people believe some even scientists believe that no from black hole okay generally okay in, through information loss paradox we can see that actually it is not really a paradox because we can see that in, since information is never lost this is why whenever a black hole goes to die so it transfers all the things that it had okay that it had taken okay that all the information that had gone inside it so it transform into another kind of thing that is called a white hole so since we know it is just opposite term since we know nothing can escape from black hole and then nothing can enter into a white hole so if on white hole we will be not discussing very much but let me inform you that white holes so generally it is believed up to now okay it's any existence is not proved okay because it also violates this uh, laws of thermodynamics this is why white holes may not exist but it may also exist some it may happen that if laws of thermodynamics are wrong then it may happen uh, that white holes may also exist so it is believed black holes uh, transfers all the information to the white holes and white holes gets that all information out of that okay and nothing can 
can enter inside a white hole and nothing can end. just like whatever information is going inside a black hole at the time of its death it will transfer into the white hole and that white hole will bring it out again so maybe any astronaut is falling into a black hole so at the time of death of the black hole if the astronaut is still alive then that astronaut may come out into another region of space time through uh, the help of white hole so this was my today's topic about whether what is inside a black hole so thank you